Hey, Architect Nation. So Enix Sears here coming live from swim practice. And today we're going to talk about the Avengers movie, the new Avengers movie. What is it called, the new Avenger one, Zion? Zion, what's the new Avengers one? Zion and Brett? Oh, Endgame, yeah, Avengers Endgame. And what it has to do with how you market your firm. All right, so I was having a conversation with my wife about, and uh, my son Zion and, and my nephew over here, and we were talking about this idea of the plot of Avengers Endgame, and we were talking about Thor, uh, that actor, Chris Helmstead, or whatever his last name is, and, um, you know, how he, spoiler alert, how he turned into this huge kind of fat, crying, beer-guzzling wimp. Yep. And, and I was saying, you know, I can get where that actor was coming from. You know, I listened to a couple interviews that he had done talking about how he wanted to shake things up a bit. He wanted to do something a bit different. And understanding the roles that he's been in the past. I mean, he's always being typecast as like the gorgeous hunk who all the ladies swoon over. And I imagine he probably just wanted to do something a little bit different. He wanted to be a little different, right? He's like, you know what? I'm tired of all the ladies swooning over me. <laughs> I'm tired of all the uh, people thinking that all I can do is be Thor, be this amazing hunk. So I'm going to show them a different side, that I'm a versatile actor and I can do other things. And I thought, I thought, well, that's cool. I mean, he did do that, right? But my wife had this interesting perspective. She said, you know what? She said he wasn't lovable. He lost his charm. And she says, I think he shot himself in the foot. And here's why she said that. She said, I think that he should have just stuck to doing what he did best. Now, you can, you can have your own opinion about whether you thought he shot himself in the foot. Carly, my wife, said, well, you know what? Uh, because he plays such a good hunk, that's what he's good at. He should have stuck with that instead of trying to branch out and do something different. However, I brought up the point, there's probably a lot of actors and actresses who start out, they get typecast in one role, like, for instance, the guy that plays Harry Potter, I don't even know his name. But, you know, he's done some pretty creepy, crazy stuff since he did Harry Potter. And, uh, you know, think about Keanu Reeves. He was in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I mean, these are iconic movies that people get remembered for, and these actors and actresses basically have to really try to break the mold to get out of that typecast. Carly wasn't buying it, and I see her point. She said, you know what? Someone, they should just stick with doing what they do well, right? So Chris, whatever his name is, he plays an excellent Nordic god. <laughs> he should stick to those roles. And I thought how similar that is to firms and when we get out there in our marketing message that we try to be something who we're not. We try to do something that maybe we're not the best in the world at and from the outside, it just doesn't work, right? Clients see through it. We can't compete against the big players in that space. So here's what I'd like you to consider. What is the true essence of you? What is the true essence of your firm? What is it that you can do, you can communicate, you can become and you can share that no one else can duplicate? Are you the amazing Nordic god with abs of steel and pecs that look like rocks? Are you the young wizard with circular glasses and a scar across his forehead? Or are you something completely different? Or, if you want to go the difficult route, are you like Harrison Ford who truly is able to be adaptable and is able to build a brand across different genres? All right. Now, even Harrison Ford, even when we think of that actor who went on from Star Wars, he avoided being typecast by that role, and he had a huge career doing a lot of other films. At the same time, when you think of Harrison Ford, you know he has a distinctive style. You kind of know the kind of movies he's going to be in, generally speaking. Right? It's always a surprise when we get some of those other fun movies that don't fit that general Han Solo type of role. But you know, we think Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know, we think the Tom Clancy novels, all those ones about the intrigue and the spies when he played Jack Ryan. I mean, these are things that we would associate with Harrison Ford. So I'm curious to know from your perspective, first of all, in Endgame, did Chris Helmstead or whatever his name is, did he blow it by being the fat, sniveling crybaby? Or do you think that that was an interesting take and you think that it was a positive move for his career? Now. I think that it was a positive move for his career because he showed how versatile he can be as an actor. However, what I would say is if you are an architecture firm, and you probably are if you're watching this, and you're thinking about marketing strategy that's going to win you market share in the marketplace, make sure that you can pull off the alternate version of you, right? Otherwise, it may flop and you may have, you may lose all of your lady fans like Chris Helmstetter and not get any fans to replace them because they hate what you did to Thor. All right, as always, carpe diem. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to know your take on this very, very important topic. Bye for now.